It's astounding to me that people buy any other car than a WRX. It's a family car. It's got a roomy back seat. It's super safe. The problem is, is that nobody who buys a WRX drives it safely. When I see a WRX on the road, I move over because I'm pretty sure the person driving that is gonna be an asshole. Ultimately, the WRX has four C, five seats, and it's got a trunk. It seems to me like you gotta bring all this crap that your kid likes. You can't get all that stuff in, a, in an Impreza WRX. I know a car enthusiast who is just about to have his first kid, and for him, the only question was like, do I get a GTI or not? And my answer was like, obviously just get a GTI. If you've got one, maybe two kids, you got a you know a stroller, you got a dog, whatever, you can get around just fine in a Volkswagen GTI. Uh, you can take it to the track if you want on the weekends and it's fun. You can go to the autocross. You can most likely just, you know, have your manual transmission and then run away at stoplights. But it's an all around perfect car both for a family and for you know, sort of a young enthusiast. Ten years in the future you've got a Porsche 911 and this is like the first step to like a like a in your German engineering like ladder. The best affordable family car for an enthusiast would have to be a car in which you could fit one or two baby seats, it still looks kind of badass, and that you can drive quickly if you have the kids but not the wife. It also has to be a car that if you get put in the doghouse or your wife throws you out or you're cheating or anything, you can remove baby seats and it looks like you're still badass, which means the correct answer is a Dodge Charger. Once you get into anything fancier, you get into dangerous. Okay, the best car you can get for under 45,000, if you have a family, is definitely the Dodge Charger Hellcat, uh, because you can get one very easily with a salvage title from someone who's destroyed it by driving it straight into a wall. You can probably get one of those fairly cheaply. The only reason you get a car like that is to like, one, like have fun doing burnouts, and two, indoctrinate your kids into like loving cars. And anything with like a V8 will do that. Like. You know what's a good family car that's affordable is a Chevy SS. So they're probably in the 40s. You used ones, I'm sure, are free, because let's be clear, no one's, no one's bought a new one or a used one. They all come with nav, and they got a manual transmission now. That car is perfect. The Mazda 5 is You can get the car on a stick. It is woefully underpowered, so much in fact, that you are always driving flat out, which automatically makes it fun. The cargo capacity and the ride quality is far better than what it actually should be, to the point where I don't know if it actually has a suspension. It might just have some magic wands that are just being waved underneath the car. And it's a Mazda, which means zoom zoom. If I was a car enthusiast and I had a family and I had to put them in my car, I would buy a bus, right? Like a VW bus, you know, and just pack them in the back and never let them leave and just drive them around for years all over the country. I would say the best used affordable family vehicle is the Mercedes E55 AMG. It has a supercharged V8. But it's not as unreliable as people, you know, make it out to be. Uh, these engines can handle a ton of power. You can chip them and get like 700 horsepower. Uh, it can seat five. It's very comfortable. It's very luxurious. Uh, it looks nice. It looks contemporary. And uh, you can find them for like 15 to 20 grand. And the repair costs aren't actually that bad if you have a, uh, a decent mechanic that's not going to rip you off. So there you have it, some great car suggestions for car enthusiasts with a family from a wide selection of automotive enthusiasts who can barely tie their own shoes. Doggy! Yeah. Doggy, you're talking about family, you getting married? No, Mom, not, not getting married yet. Am I gonna be a grandmother? Maybe one day, Mom, if you're good. Don't worry, I got this, I got this. I'm a professional. I also had a lot of coffee right before that, can you tell? because you gotta haul around all your crap. And God knows a Tahoe isn't fun. That if you say, get thrown out of the house or on the dog, you know. Talk to a family and they're like, oh, we can't go anywhere without our child's, you know, giant penguin. And, and that, the, it's a stuffed penguin, but he's like the size of God, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's do it with your name. Uh-oh. Whoa.